<laughs> my gosh, that's the first time I did it. It's so cool. Oh crap, it just jumped off. Do you guys want to go full throttle? <laughs> Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. This video, I made a planetary gearbox. Let's scratch today's project. Before we get into this video, based on YouTube stats right here, it shows that 90% of the people that watch this channel does not subscribe. If you forget to do so, consider subscribing. And let's get into today's video. Okay, so in the past couple of weeks, I've been exploring with gears and I made a planetary gearbox. It's not the best gearbox ever. Um, been doing lots of research out there and a planetary gearbox is quite complicated if you just get start with gear and I don't quite understand how this worked yet. What I did was I modeled this on Fusion 360. The, this is called the ring gear, the planet gear, and the sun gear. The ring gear has 74 teeth, the planet gear and the sun gear has 24 teeth. I'm not quite sure what the ratio of this is, but I don't know, it's, it's been and I just love it. So I did have a bearing inside of this gear right here so that it spins more smoothly. Yeah, let's see this. Okay, so if I spin the small one, right, that's control the middle one right here. So if I spin this, spin the middle one. But I don't know for what a reason. I print this the first time and it doesn't turn that well. So I remodeled these planet gear to make them smaller, but I still get this stuck. I don't know why it keeps getting stuck like at this point right here. Maybe it's just the print wasn't that good or I don't know. I put some grease on it, as you can see, it's green. I got green grease, That that's the grease right there. So, um, I put some grease on this to make it spin a little bit better and actually does spin quite good. But it, it just keeps getting stuck at some point. If you spin the second handle here, it's gonna spin the planet gear and the big handle here, it's gonna spin the ring gear. So, yeah, if I, if I hold the ring gear, I spin the middle one right here. Only the sun gear and the planet gear spins. Yeah. Whee! Look at that. This is going to be a huge project in the future. Where I live, it snows a lot right now. It did not snow for the past couple of months, but now it suddenly starts snowing when it's getting close to spring. What? Anyway, yeah, in the summer, this is going to be a huge project. I'm going to be making a planetary gearbox into something really cool so like i said subscribe if you hold the planet gear and turn the ring gear only the ring gear and the sun gear actually turn so but it's not the smoothest <laughs> oh it's actually quite hard to turn these but what, whatever it's just work it's just work i just love it um the clearance i think the clearance is a little bit too big but it needs some more tweaking but this is so cool man i've been trying to make gears for a while now and i finally made something that actually work <laughs> this is so exciting let's see how fast i can spin this while holding the ring gear so, oh look at this isn't that quite fast no it is not you want to know what's gonna be faster than this kaboom <laughs> I bought myself a motor. This is a this is an eight nine five DC motor. As you can see right here, that's the specs of it. I got this from China. This motor is a twelve twenty four volts. It can run at both. At twelve volt, it's gonna be at about ten thousand RPM. At twenty four volts, it's gonna run twenty thousand RPM, which is quite crazy, and it's so big. I did not realize this was gonna be this huge. I'm gonna use this to run this. And this is just a test. In the future, I'm gonna be making this into something really, really cool. I hope it works, but let's get right into it. Okay, so how this is gonna work is that I got this right here. So I just pull out this filament here and it releases this one. I like making things really modulated. And then just plug in this hole into this rod, line up the hole like so, and then just plug this thing back in. Okay, there we go. Got it in, and now if I spin this rod here, it's gonna spin the planetary, the planetary gearbox. So that's how it's gonna look. I'm gonna be holding this while the motor spins, and I'm gonna be using my amazing gearbox here to do it. I love this gearbox, man. Can't believe I made it. It's so cool. Can I tell you how much this? It's a time saver. You don't gotta wire all these. You don't have to replug in everything. You just just take out these two wires that are for the motor and just plug in two more wires. Oh, by the way, I kind of screw up here and this does not hold the motor well, but hopefully it still spins. Plug it in right here. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn it on and hopefully it works. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me hold the ring gear. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's the first time I did it. It's so cool. Whoa, look at that. I'm gonna hold the planet gear and see what happened. Ouch. Look at that. You guys wanna go full throttle? <laughs> let's go, let's try. I'm gonna hold the ring gear. Oh crap, it just jumped off. Oh, it broke. This was a screw in and it broke. What? Let me screw this back in. Oh, maybe that was the problem, huh? Let's lock this in place. Man, this is quite dangerous. Let's face it like this. Let's see. Let's hold it. Oh my god, it's so scary. <laughs> I, I really want to go full throttle, but it's just not. It's fully, fully secure, man. I need to be designed this so much better. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. But the reason I don't want to keep going is that this thing might fly off and hit my computer right screen right here. So that's really dangerous. I'm going to do it on the floor first time. Okay, it's not going to be the best angle, but... Ah, uh -uh. this is what I gotta work with. I'm gonna do it on the floor, so if you know if anything flies off, it's not gonna hit my monitor that costs a lot. Let's go for a throttle now. Ah! Oh. <laughs> this thing flew off. Oh my gosh, I need to make it so that it secures better. I'm gonna super glue this C clamp onto it. I'm gonna demonstrate this. So if I turn this on, and if I hold the planet gear, the planet gear is going to stop, and the ring gear is going to turn. But if I let go and hold the ring gear, the planet gear orbits around the sun gear. I'm going to try and go full power. That's like 20%. Oh boy, I couldn't hold it. <laughs> Let's try it again. Okay, just gonna go full power, okay? It stopped. Why did it stop there? It just stopped. That is so strong. <laughs> this thing flew off again. Okay, I'm gonna hold the ring gear. <laughs> this thing flew up again. Oh my gosh. Okay, one final time. I'm not holding anything. These flew off, so I was scared this is gonna fly off. It's on the edge. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, that was crazy, man. I did not realize that these planetary gearbox can actually spin that fast. That's why it was not that secure. I would just manually do it by hand, and I thought it was not gonna be this strong. Or their motor, I did not realize it was gonna be that strong. Oh, that is, yeah, that's pretty much with this video, but do planetary gearbox are so cool. Uh, I'm gonna do more research and maybe do an update video of another planetary gearbox in the future and definitely the project so if you don't want to miss that subscribe to this channel and yeah I'll try and make this more better more secure so that it doesn't fly off and oh what that was so fun <laughs> I love these stuff man where can you get these prototype within days nowhere you cannot do that anywhere without 3d printing it's just amazing all these technologies but yeah that is pretty much it with this video of me exploring and playing with planetary gearbox it has been so much fun it was well worth the wait the whole day of modeling remodeling printing reprinting and stuff like that but oh my gosh this has been so exciting man and yeah as always keep on 3d printing